made the executive decision last night to put my own brakes on. That'll just save time and money. So today I'm going to do the brakes. It's going to be about zero Celsius today. And we got about two inches of fresh snow last night. I've already cleaned the car off. Now it's just a matter of uh, getting the brakes off and changed. I don't know if I'm going to paint the, the calipers. I'd like to, but it's cold. It's a little too cold for the paint. So I think I might wait to do that until the, the spring or the summer. Yeah, it'll just save time, I guess, if I don't do it. So got to get the tools out. Need a 14 millimeter, 17 millimeter, and uh, whatever size it takes to get the tires off. Not sure where to jack up on this, but this is a matter of getting underneath and uh, finding out. I think I'm just going to do one side at a time. So I've got the, uh, got the brakes off, or well, got the tire off. I've loosened the caliper. So I have to go get a, something to hang it up. You don't want to let the caliper hang on its its rubber brake line. Hook it up there. Pull it back. It's out of the way. I can take this off now. Let that sit for a few minutes. I have my coffee. That's uh, that's in there really hard, so I don't want to break it. One thing I'm going to do is hit it with my hammer here, just uh, to hopefully help it loosen. Coffee time. One thing with these brakes is there's still plenty of brake pad on them, but the rotors are rusted. When the rotors rust, they wear down the brake pads a lot quicker than they normally would. So it is best to change them. It would probably pass a safety, but I'd rather have brand new brakes and uh, know what I'm up against it's, instead of having a brake failure someday. As, uh, I've had that before where all of a sudden there's a big bang and you don't have any brakes. Uh, yeah, that's not fun. Especially when you're trying to stop. Okay, I've had my first coffee. I'm going to try this again. Don't leave your tools in the snow. Makes them much colder. I'm gonna have to clean those threads up. Hi. Okay, this has to be cleaned up too. I'm just gonna clean this up with the wire wheel. Just uh, quick. That's how they go on. It's that simple. Just squeeze them into place. This caliper is coming off. It's the old caliper. It looks in. Well, it'd be in great shape if it didn't have all that rust and grooves and stuff in it. So, this is done. This is pretty much a new caliper. You'll notice that there's these extra little holes in it. If this ever gets stuck on the hub, you can run bolts in there. I think it's uh, M8s. And uh, it'll push it off the hub. These are front rotors. Fits. Okay, this has to be cleaned with brake clean uh, before I put the brakes on. It comes coated with an oil to protect it from rusting. So let's go get the brake clean. Anti seize. 
so this doesn't get stuck on there. I have to compress the caliper back in to where it was. So, so I can use this. I've already opened the brake reservoir under the hood. And I know that's not going to overflow because I couldn't see any liquid fluid. And you want to get it all the way in. The idea of using the old pads is so you don't ruin the new ones. See the difference between the old pad and the new pad? There isn't a lot of difference. Except this one's all scored and this one's nice. And that's it. Everything's on here. Put a little bit of uh, anti-seize or anti PB blaster on the the uh, bleeder valve. I might have to bleed the brakes. I don't think I will. I haven't introduced any air into the system. Well, that's it. It's just to put the tire back on, and and we're good to go. Side two. I've been painting these. Uh, lug nuts just to keep them well get them black anyways they've been rusted for i don't know how long so i'm going to give those a quick coat of paint now going to try and prime first let that sit underneath my light my own little paint cooking booth let that sit, dry up, and uh, hit it with black. Wouldn't you know it, part way into a job, my uh, my wire wheel's acting up. Yeah, kind of a pain, but it's one of the things you have to deal with, right? Good, I can finish my wheel nuts now. That's what they look like before. That's what they look like after. I should do a little video of the back brakes. They're just a little different than the front. And it's just a matter of the uh, caliper being different because it's also acting as the uh, emergency brake. So where I used my... Where I used my... Uh, clamp before to push the piston in and the caliper. I can't. This one I have to turn in because it's threaded inside there. So I'll get this part and we'll get looking at that in a second. So here's the difference in the caliper. You can see that this has got a mark on it. It's threaded inside. And how I put it in, there, well there's a special tool. I don't have that. So I use this. It's a big flat screwdriver and I just use the blade sideways and twist it in as uh, as it goes. And it seems to work as long as that thing's not uh, seized. And it shouldn't be because the brakes have been working. It uh, will work. Let's take a look at that. So I take this and I hold it on something and I twist. And what it does is it puts that back in. And there we go. That's in down to the bottom. And that will allow me to put my new brake shoes on. One of the things I'm going to do is put anti seize on the back of this so that the new rotor doesn't stick. We're all done. Four new pads and rotors. One last thing, I have to torque the the wheel nuts. So I've got to go around the whole car and make sure they're tight. Let's start here at the back. So on to the next. pretty much it. I'm gonna get in, pump the brakes, see how they uh, grab, 
and uh, that's done. Okay. Brake pedal's really spongy. That's gonna catch up. Brake pedal perfect. Let's try the hand. Okay, I am quite happy with that. Now it's a matter of getting that airbag light off and that light off. But that's a matter for the dealer, so I might take this to the dealer today. So now it's just a matter of putting away the tools, cleaning them up, making sure they're dry from the snow. I don't like working outside in the snow because it rusts your tools. They get wet. So I'm gonna wipe everything down and put things away. Just leaving the mechanics place, I've dropped off the Suzuki. So I'm on my way downtown, I'm gonna get some new boot laces and uh, catch a bus home. Downtown's pretty close. From the shop, I'm ha maybe a quarter of the way from the shop, but from the shop, it takes me 12 minutes to walk down to the market, so pretty close. There's a jet de ou. Our downtown. Our gallery's there. There's a bus. Now it's a truck. It's pretty down here. This river is the Thames River. It's uh, below Fanshawe Lake where I sail. Coffee in the market. Special guest, Jeff. Vein stuff, too. Vein stuff, nice. Yeah. Jeff has a spasm in his back. <laughs> He'll live. He'll live. This one I'm taking. Well, I'm home. Everybody's home. The little girls out there, the big girls out there, the kitties there. Just had supper, and actually, I'm heating up some more soup for Jasmine. Then we've had a productive day, or I have, anyways. Got the car to the mechanics. He's gonna look after the exhaust leaks. It's just donuts, same uh, donut that I replaced the other day. There's another one, and then there's another shape of donut that needs to to be inserted. Ah, and we'll uh, see what he comes up with. I don't know if there's anything else that needs to be done for the safety. He'll find that out uh, as he goes through his checklist. Ah, good stuff. Well. See what happens tomorrow. Be a fun bus ride. It's daddy daughter dinner night, and I don't know what I'm gonna do yet about getting her from school. Either I'm gonna take the bus over or get grandma to pick her up, or I'm not sure. Be surprised. Tune in tomorrow. Please click the subscribe, click the like, click the bell, and tell your mom. Thanks.